Are you hungry? If so, you're in the right place. Today, we're cooking heimuchim, a Korean kind of ceviche. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Good. Well, you already know what we're cooking. It's, it's, it's raw fish, but it's mixed with vinegar, so it is kind of cooked in a way. It's, it's very similar to ceviche in this way. I mean, there you have the, the, the acidity of the uh, lemon-lime juice that, that kind of cooks the fish a bit, right? So it's, it's a similar process that we're making today, but it's a Korean dish. Before we have a look at the ingredients, please do me the favor. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to check the bell icon. Like that, you get the notification every Tuesday when a new episode is online. But now let's have a look at the board. We have our fish, it's a kingfish, belongs to the mackerel family, very nice. We're gonna eat that raw, so we're just gonna slice it up. Um, it's gonna be almost a little bit like a salad. We have some red cabbage, some onion, some um, baby lettuce, and then we're obviously gonna make a sauce. Well, we have some spring onions as well. We're gonna make a sauce with garlic. We have um, 60 grams of starch syrup, 40 grams of sesame oil and 100 grams of vinegar. We also have 40 grams of gochujang and 20 grams of gochugaro, the flakes. We also have a bit of salt. We're also gonna put a bit of pepper from the pepper mill in there. But let's start first with uh, prepping the fish. And there's not much to do. These fillets are great already, so you have, don't have to worry too much about it. Now, just slice it a couple of millimeters. That's probably four millimeters. So we need to slice up our whole fish, which will take a couple of minutes. So I'll see, see you once that it do, is done and we'll continue with the veggie prep. That's our fish. Before we continue, I think I forgot to mention how much. We had half a kilo of fish to go with the rest of the measurements. Now let's continue with our veggie prep. Our onion, we're just gonna half and then slice relatively thinly, like that. Our cabbage, we cut out the stem. And as well, just slice it up thinly. Like so. And we can mix all of this in the same bowl. And for our baby lettuce, we can actually, we don't have to cut it, we just... I realized I didn't wash this, so I'm gonna wash it quickly. But we just pick, pick off the leaves like this and tear them apart. So, do your vegetable prep, and then I'll show you how we make the, the sauce part of it. The one thing I forgot to show you, we obviously have spring onions as well. Now these, you can cut however you want, but I'm gonna cut them also relatively thin, but some people like like longer sticks of this. And I'm not gonna put everything into the, let's call it a salad. I'm gonna keep some of it to sprinkle on top afterwards as a decoration. So don't forget your spring onions. Our garlic, we just grated it up, the four cloves we had. We're adding our vinegar, the 100 grams, our 40 grams of sesame oil, our 60 grams of starch syrup. It's basically cornstarch, water, and sugar. You can make it yourself. I bought mine in the Asian store. Our gochugaro and our gochiyan. And now we need to mix this all together. Now most recipes would also add sesame seeds. I would have done that too, but I forgot to buy sesame seeds today, so it's without sesame seeds. We have the sesame oil for the sesame taste. We just won't have the textures of the sesame seed. Let's see where we are taste-wise. 
Mm. Nice sour sweetness. I'm gonna add a little bit, a good pinch of salt. And four turns on the white pepper. Let's give this a final try. Now we're ready to assemble everything. And we'll just pour it onto the vegetables. I hope our I hope our bowl will be big enough. We'll put in the fish as well. And now we'll get in with our hands and we'll mix it all together. Could have used a bigger bowl, but we just take a bit longer. And we'll have to clean up the mess. Now it's mixed, it's a bit of mess. I will clean this up and then we'll plate this up. As always, before we plate this up though, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, takes you a second, but it's so valuable for me to get my content out there in the YouTube universe. So do that for me, please. And now let's plate this up. And this should be eaten straight away. You don't want to marinate it in the fridge or anything like that. Just serve it up. Just clean up a bit of the mess I made before we put on the spring onions. And then some spring onions on top. That's it. Let's dig in. Mm. Hey, Mochi. Mm. Sweet, sour, spicy, salty. Crunchy. Obviously, the cabbage is adds quite a bit of crunch. That's why you need to cut it relatively thin. And the salad is nice and crunchy, the baby lettuce. Mm. Try to get a bit of everything for each bite. I really enjoy easy food like this. You need some specialty products from, from the Korean store or the Asian store, but once you have them, it's done in 15 minutes. Nice and refreshing and relatively healthy. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, if you have any questions about the recipe, leave them in the comments below. I always get back to you. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye.